it's buildable, it helps even out the skin tone, it helps cover the acne. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you've all had a good week. I know the weather has been very temperamental with it absolutely peeing it down and then being really sunny the next. So apparently we are due another heat wave in just a few short days. So this brings me on to today's video. I have wanted to put this video out for quite a while, but I just wanted to make sure that I definitely, definitely loved the product and that it was the best of the bunch because when it comes to these type of products, I feel like I have tried every single type. So in today's video, we are gonna be looking at my personal, the best skin tint for acne prone skin. And of course, for me personally, for pigmentation and a little scarring as well. Before we get started into today's video, I just wanted to take this time to thank absolutely everybody on my last video, my news that I am pregnant. If you haven't watched that video, I will leave a link in the description box down below, but I am just incredibly grateful for everyone's kind words and comments, not only on the video itself, but over on my other social media channels. I am just, it's still surreal. So I just wanted to take this time and say a big massive thank you to everyone and I hope you can join me on this journey. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So when it comes to skin tints, there is quite a lot. There are BB creams, CC creams, tinted moisturizers. I believe there are now tinted serums. There's also tinted SPFs. And now there are now products that are actually called skin tints. It's any sort of product that gives your skin a tint. Okay, I wanted to share with you my absolute favorite that I have found over the past few weeks. It's buildable, it helps even out the skin tone, it helps cover the acne, not completely because obviously it is a skin tint. The skin tint that I have absolutely been loving over these past few months is the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint. I absolutely love this. It's very affordable. I believe it was under £20, but this is really, really good. So it says it gives sheer to medium coverage, but obviously it's also buildable as well. So if you did want to go in with a second layer, you can. And yeah, it's, I absolutely love this. It's more of your liquidy, skin tint than sort of like a like a rich creamier formula but honestly I absolutely love this so I've just brought you in a little bit closer I will also do a close-up once I've applied the product but I'm just going to go in with a primer I've already moisturized applied my SPF so this is just the elf poreless putty primer I am still loving this formula it's really really nice and lightweight they have just recently bought out one for blemishes it's green and I really want to try it because I want to know if it helps with just counteracting with the red I am now going to go in with the skin tint. So like I said, it's a really watery formula. So it just comes with a pipette. And as you can see, it's very liquidy. I'm trying to make sure that the pipette does not touch my face. I'm just going to do this section by section just so it doesn't drip off my face. Just going in with a foundation brush just because I find that it's a lot easier and with sponges, I feel like they take most of the product away. I like to use sponges when it comes to blending in concealer or just blending in any harsh lines that the brush has sort of given my skin. I've just started blending this in and as you can see, it's already covered some of the redness. Although I have only added one layer, it was quite a lot of product. So this is what my skin is looking like. As you can see, 
Like I said, it's a sheer to medium coverage. It definitely gives you a really nice dewy finish. So you're not sort of compromising on any dewiness, which I absolutely love. I'm not a fan of products that are designed for acne and all it does is just dry out your skin. I do like to have like a healthy glow as well. So like I said, this is just one layer. I did add quite a lot of product, so maybe you can class this as two layers i'm not quite sure but as you can see the majority of the redness has been completely covered i am impressed even with just the amount that i've put on obviously with textural issues i'm still gonna have that there but if i'm being honest i would just apply this and that's it i wouldn't be tempted to add anything else onto my skin so because i did add quite a lot of product there as the first layer i'm not going to go ahead and apply a second because i believe the amount i used classes as a second layer but if you want to add more go ahead it's honestly buildable i absolutely love 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 this skin tint so usually like i said i would just not use any product i would probably add like a bit of powder in the areas where i'm the most oiliest whack on a bit of mascara and i'm good to go but i'm just going to add my other products so blush a little bit of bronzer a bit of powder just so you can sort of see what it's going to look like underneath with other products on there so for concealer i'm going to go in with the essence camouflage matte concealer this is in the shade light honey as you know i like to put on just a shade darker when it comes to covering my bumps just because i feel like it just mutes back the bump a little bit and it doesn't stick out as much so i'm just going to apply honestly just a little bit and then before i set my face i'm going to go in with another elf product this is the putty blush I absolutely love this. I am such a sucker for cream products. I'm currently looking for a cream bronzer. If you have a favourite, do leave them in the comments down below. I'm just going to apply this and blend it in with the same brush. Just so it blends in beautifully. Before I go in with any bronzer, I am just going to set my face and I'm gonna use a normal powder. This is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. And I'm gonna focus on my oily areas. So my chin, each side of my nose, and also just underneath my eye. I am definitely needing to swap brush. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Keja West. No idea how to say that. This is actually a powder, but because they sent me a shade that was a little bit too dark for my skin. I just use it as a bronzer just to help warm up my face a little. So I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the same products I always use. So the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil and also the Collection Incredi Brow Gel. don't really need to do much to my eyebrows today because they have previously been tinted. But I'm going to fill in any gaps that I have. And then for my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Natural Collection Volume Mascara. And then on top, I'm going to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So when I did my first impressions of this product, I absolutely hated it. And it was just not for me. But honestly, I continue to use it just because I had it. And I found that it's a really good second mascara. Now that it's had time to sort of like dry up a little bit, I find that it helps separate my lashes because i think my first impressions i found that it was too clumpy so yeah i i feel like i'm converted and i am now a fan so i'm quickly just gonna put these two mascaras on for my lips i went in with the elf sheer slick lipstick this is in the shade golden pear i absolutely love these they are so nourishing and balmy on the lips especially great as i always have dry lips even in the summer so this is the final look i yeah i absolutely love 
the way this skin tint looks on my skin and although i have gone in with the rest of my makeup honestly it looks so good on its own if you didn't want to add any other product to your face i have zoomed in a lot we are looking at me very close up so this is what my skin is looking like you can still see that i have textural issues obviously ain't no amount of foundation or skin tint is gonna cover that it's still gonna come through but this is what my skin is looking like and honestly you guys my skin looks so good obviously my chin bit has been having issues obviously i've had massive breakouts since i got pregnant but i just love the dewiness that this skin tint is giving me, the amount of coverage that it's giving me. Honestly, I did not even need to use a lot. Okay, I maybe used a lot. So there you have it, my absolute favorite skin tint for acne prone skin and also personally for pigmentation and a little bit of scarring as well. Obviously, I still have textural issues and to be honest, that's always gonna shine through, especially if it's like 3D bumps everywhere, but we have to work with what, you, what we have. Comment down below if you've tried this before. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you have a product that you favor more of? I would absolutely love to know. The only thing I would say with this product, but honestly, I would say this about any product that I have on my face, especially during the summer days is that i do need to reapply powder sort of like throughout the day because my skin does quite get oily in the t-zone but like i said honestly i would i would needed to have done that with any sort of product i really hope you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you did if you don't already and you've been absolutely loving my videos please do subscribe as I would love for you to stick around and join the family and I hope to see you next week in a brand new video.